bikes. What's up guys? It's your boy VC Boy and Jama TV is here. We're having Dairy Queen. I'm trying their milk. This is their mint chocolate chip shake with whipped cream. It tastes really good. Why are you smiling? I can barely hear guys. I have water or something in my ear. I don't know. I don't like it. And I'm doing the chicken. Oh my god, Linda, that's so greasy. I'm doing the chicken nugget tinder basket. Look how greasy that is. I'm gonna be no, so no, messy. It's not because that's a barbecue too. I'm gonna be so messy. <laughs> <laughs> That is the bites. They just burnt them more. Those are the bites, boo. That's exactly what they look like. They just burnt them. Jama is in love with Dairy Queen. Shout out to you, Dairy Queen. Jama's in love with their chicken bites, guys. So you guys need to go try them. Dairy Queen. D crew. I can't even say it right. Mm -hmm. Did they give you a fork? What is it? Did I take your fork here? I took your fork. That's yours. I don't need one, I guess. I use my hands. I'm good. I don't. I could just wipe it off later. There's a, there's a fork here. Where? This side. Hmm. They went the popos. Okay, guys. So, and then the other thing that we got to try that is new is we're trying the Dairy Queen new. Bagel bites. What's <laughs> wrong with me? Okay. So we need to say grace first. Oh, boy, this is hot. Oh, is this sweet? Oh, my God. Ooh, this is, this is like one of those hot cheese sauces. Try it. It's not ranch. It's cheese. It's like a Fredo. Not a Fredo. It's like a, um, you know, the cheese. Mmm. That's like that spicy cheese. Yeah, because the pre is pretzel. That's this like is, that nacho. This is a pretzel sauce. It's nacho cheese sauce. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot, 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 hot. I'm not a wimp, guys. I just don't like hot stuff. Now, where did you say the fork was? Oh, right here. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, we didn't say grace. <laughs> Dear God, bless this food and bless this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Help my ear to feel better. I mean, it's driving me crazy. I mean, you're the only one who can heal it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And pray that we have a blessed day. In Jesus' name. And keep everyone safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So, I'm going to try this other piece of Jama's bagel. Mm. This is not mine. <laughs> it is. I got this for you. Oh, Jama thinks that I got this for myself. I did not get this for me. Okay. Cheese. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. Okay. Let's try. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. The nitty ditty. Ooh, they gave us a lot of sauce. There's another one in there. Nice to make I don't know, but if you don't like the sauce, I'm going to take the sauce to my mom to eat it. She'll love that. Mm. That property is for sale, or is it for rent? Mm -hmm. The property is it for rent or sell? For sell. Oh, we could buy some land. <laughs> Here's a French fry. Oh. My God, it hurts when I eat. <clears throat> this ear is annoying. Mm -hmm. Guys, don't ever get water trapped in your ear. It drives you crazy. Now we're trying it with the ch with the French fry. So, Linda, what, <clears throat> what's some questions that you want to ask me that you never asked me? Call princess. Hmm? Call princess. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I called her. She don't answer me. Princess, answer the phone, dang it. I said dang it. That's not a bad word. <laughs> mm, God, it's hot. Mm. Well, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta put something out there into the atmosphere. People, me and Jama are not dating. People need to stop saying that. A fan said that to me the other day. I'm so happy that you have a nice older woman. I said, 
<laughs> I couldn't stop laughing at first because I said, well, the truth is I do like older women, but <laughs> she's married. <laughs> what? Mm. Okay. I haven't even tried the chicken nugget yet. I've always dated older women my whole life, but I'm not dating Jama. Jama is married. She's married to Orlando Brown. You guys have met him. He's been on my lives before. I, I can't say that. I was just about to say something, but mm -hmm. he watches my channel, so I'm not saying that. <sighs> I'm mad at him. I'll say it like that. <sighs> he got mad at me the other day because I didn't pick up the phone, but I was with my niece at the time. It's like, oh, uh, okay. I mean, if he would have sent a text, you know, But I understand why you called. Did you, did you ask me if I want a drink? I know. Well, they didn't even ask me if I wanted a drink. Okay, guys, here is the barbecue chicken. We're going to try it. Let's see if it's spicy barbecue chicken because if it is, I'm not eating it. Mm, it's sweet. But again, it doesn't taste like real chicken. It tastes like... Well, I guess it is real chicken, technically. Mm. But I'm sorry, Dairy Queen, to say this. Chick-fil-A... Chick-fil-A still got you beat. Mm. What? He's got to lock his gate. As you guys see my fatty one. <laughs> Why is this street so busy? Oh my gosh. I'm at gosh. Here you go. So what are your questions, Linda? They gave us honey mustard, but I don't need it right now. Mm -mm. What? Good. I know, but I don't want to open it if I'm only going to eat a little bit. <clears throat> Ask her way. <laughs> I don't know. If a girl, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> if a girl, if a girl comes into my path and she wants to be in a relationship with me, I mean, I'm a lot. But if she loves me for who I am, she can control you. Mm -mm, she can't control me. I will never let anyone control me ever again. Point blank, period. People think Jama controls me. Jama doesn't control me. Jama lets me do what I want to do. But she might guide me in the right way. Like, hey, think about this, Linda. Do you think that's a good idea? You know, should you do that? Should you not do it? And then let me make my own choice. And I honestly think that growing up, I didn't have that respect. I mean, I was told what to do, how to think, where to go, how to dress, what to eat. And I think that, like, I resented that later in life when I got older because it was like, I don't, and it's still happening even though I'm in my 30s. It's still happening. And I don't like that. I don't like someone telling me how to think, how to dress, where to go, who to hang out with, what friends I'm allowed to have, what food I'm allowed to eat. Like, I think that that's what started my food disorder was because someone was telling me what I could and cannot do and locking the refrigerator. And I mean, it always goes back to that problem. Um, but with Jama, when I met Jama, Jama let me do whatever I wanted to do. And she was just like, think. And I think when you're a parent, and this might just be my opinion. When you're a parent, you have that dynamic, like you have to make that decision. Do you want to be your child's friend or do you want to be their parent? But at the same time, it's like you need to let them learn from their mistakes. And you need to start at an early age. Like if you say, don't touch that, that's dangerous. And they keep touching it. Well, heck, if they get... If they get hurt, it's because they didn't learn. They didn't listen to you telling them, hey, no, that's dangerous. 
And I'm learning that actually right now with my nieces and nephews. You gotta let them learn from their mistakes. Mm -hmm. Look at them, I do it for you. Mm -hmm. So, that is why I have so much respect for Jama. Is Jama let me learn from my mistakes and use it my way and, and do it my way and then say, and then she was there to pick up the pieces, you know? Like, it's like if Jama would have been in my life when I was a little kid, she would have been like, okay, go ahead. If you want to go do that, and if you fall, that's on you, but I'm still here to pick you up and say it's okay and, and, and give you a Band-Aid or something like that. Not saying that my mom didn't do that. My mom did do that. My mom was really good with that. But there were different things that like should have been done differently. And I'm not bashing her in no way. I'm just telling you like, and I've had this conversation with her and it's hard to talk to someone who doesn't want to recognize what they did was wrong. Like they don't, and, and she doesn't like to talk about drama at all. She's still jealous. It's a big jealousy issue. Drama's never done anything to anything to my mom at all. At all. And my mom has disrespected her so many different ways. And Jama has just stayed quiet and calm and just, just like me with Jama's husband, I've stayed my mouth quiet and calm because I respect her, but it's like, I don't respect him as a person at all. Just telling the truth. I'm just telling the truth, you know? And I could say it to his face too. I don't want him to say that I'm bashing him. I would say it to his face, but I just don't see him. I don't like people that don't respect someone. And no, Jama didn't tell me anything. I see it for myself. I've seen it with my own eyes. He said something that really was disrespectful, but I'm not going to say it because it's Jama's private business. When we were on a road trip, and ever since he did that, that really pissed me off. And I said, wow, this is how you treat your own wife? <clears throat> but anyways, I don't like... <sighs> I'm joking. I don't like people that are I don't like I don't like people that are trying to bully another person. Like I don't like that in any type of situation. I've been bullied my whole life and I was weak and now that I'm not weak anymore because Jama made me not weak anymore. People still try to mess with me because they think that I'm weak and I'm like, "Uh-uh, honey, it ain't going to work." So it is what it is. These are some big tenders, guys, and I'm getting full already. Because <laughs> you eat the bread first. Yeah, and I drink the shake first. And it hurts my stomach. But, I know I don't want to go to the <laughs> But yeah, if I get married, I told you. I told you. Right when I have my life. Bye, guys. Love you. Have an awesome day. Say bye, Linda. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Love you. Go get you some Dairy Queen. Bye-bye. Did you just come?